you already know this is the in-depth before you buy for the autumn queen let's get sweaty backlings that go well um actually very surprised here there are a lot of good combinations here i didn't think the color scheme would go that well um but you know as i went through here there was a lot that i thought looked really good some of them kind of a stretch some but most are pretty damn good like they're pretty spot on for most of these uh the padlock here looks really good wolf pack goes on everything laser wings yeah it looks all right a little bit of gold that doesn't look bad either the rust bucket a little bulky but hey morning glory looks cool um moldering cloak with the orange inlay very nice the goody gourd Ugh, this looks you wouldn't think it does like who would put a disco ball on her but it looks good uh giddy gunner here he's slicing dice sha, 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 sha. the spellbinder actually both uh edit styles look really good here they both look really nice um the stripe stalker does not look bad at all take out a little bulky but still the color scheme is there tom com does not look bad top notch the cheesy back bling. this is the uh i think it's called cheese and then we have the default i like the original or excuse me uh the cheese that is not gold just called cheese looks really good to me the buzzy bag we are using an orange for the banner shield here you can also use like a dark brown as well orange looks really nice this is what it came with obviously uh, wings of love kind of a stretch here with the gold a little too vibrant but it's okay chef's choice the coral commandos the double play back bling does not look bad at all the grande pack goes well with her uh, with her pants and her leggings um i don't really think yeah those are it's kind of like over her boots type of vibe into her shorts i don't know are, are those called strap no oh, they're all they're called tra straps no they're called something chaps maybe they're like chaps that's what I was looking for. <laughs> that she has wrapped around her legs. Yes, chaps, I believe is what they're called. Um, Scrappy looks good. The scope satchel. Don't get to use it a lot. It looks pretty nice. Lucky coins doesn't look bad at all. The sun sprout. And then the Jansport, aka vintage back bling. My favorite one here. It's kind of tough. It's kind of like, do you want to go for like a brown? Or do you want to go for like an orange that goes well? Um, I don't know. I like padlock. It's one of my favorites. It looks really good. The Autumn's Mantle Back Bling on various outfits here. Um, pretty cool back bling. It's got the same, uh, I guess the same feel as the Enduring Cape. That's like a shag carpet back bling is what I call it. Uh, nonetheless, it, it's cool. It's got some nice textures to it. Like all the leaves, you can see like the different layers there. It looks good. So in terms of what I chose here, it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting color. I mean, obviously the outfit goes well with uh, a pretty good amount of back bling. So you would assume that the outfits are going to be just the same. And I was a little more picky with the outfits I chose here. But nonetheless, still some pretty interesting combos. Well, we're just going to call it the uh, the leaf back bling. It kind of makes you wonder if the bush ranger is going to get like a fall edit style. Po possibly it would be. I know it's, it just came out. Does it need to have an additional style right now? Maybe not, but maybe they could have kept that skin maybe in the works for this time of the year. I know it just came out like what two, I think it was maybe like two weeks ago, possibly. Um, but yeah, if they give that an edit style already, it would be cool, but it'd have to return again to the shop. And it, it was just out not even that long ago, but it would be very cool to have Bush Ranger with um, this color scheme. I don't know if we're going to do it. Um, like I said, there's a lot of outfits that do need a lot of attention. That tail goes really through that back wing there. There's a lot of outfits that kind of deserve some attention. I mean, Flytrap still does not have a back bling. Um, in terms of what they're actually giving edit styles these days, here it is, Bush Ranger. Would it be cool with like an orange slash fall color scheme? I think it would be very cool. I don't know if we're going to get one. But there's a lot of outfits that haven't got a lot. Of, I mean, Sass Sergeant, maybe he's not a good selling point, but I'm sure if they made him look like a drill sergeant, imagine that he's got he's got pretty, pretty close to a round brown drill sergeant hat already. And it's out for that for him would be cool. Um, I don't know. I just think there's a lot of outfits they could do a little bit more with in terms of like older outfits. Instead, they're kind of giving like updates to skins that aren't even that old. 
So I'm not sure if they're trying to kind of revamp the older ones or just make the newer ones a higher selling point for people to purchase. I'm not sure. I mean, Sass Sergeant as a drill sergeant would be really cool to me. Again, um, from my military background, I could relate to a drill sergeant uh, yelling at my face, you know, telling me to drop, smoke me all the time. Half right. I mean, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> Here's the Autumn Queen. Uh, the Brat. Trigger Fish. Doesn't look bad with the skin tone. Guild. A Grill Sarn. Dominator. Devastator. Cole. Aura. Doesn't look bad. Jungle Scout. The Patch Patroller. The Sizzle Sarn. And then the symbol, now this is like a Bam Brigade outfit. So, I mean, the orange you can use, you can use a brown as well, but I just showcased orange for this. And my favorite one here, it's tough. I think it looks really good on Longshot though, because he doesn't get a lot of love, honestly. And that looks really good to me. Harvesting tools you could use, starting with Bite Mark with the Autumn Queen. That looks really good. Color scheme is perfect, 10 out of 10. I love that. Moving on to the burning axe you really don't want to get them leaves caught on fire but still i think it looks pretty damn cool with the color scheme you could also use like a bottom feeder which is like just a generic brown we have to red here it's, it's a little darker than the rest i see it doesn't really have any black on the outfit it's more like a dark brown but it looks pretty good nonetheless now we have that should not be in there my apologies we have these these splinter striker i think it's got the colors a little bit of teal as well does not look bad at all. It looks really nice. And then we have the tree splitter, which is kind of like uh, she's wearing the leaves that the tree drops during the fall. So a tree splitter harvesting tool is kind of like a, a weird kind of joke, a weird pun. But um, I should have had the bottom feature here to show you guys a really nice, a pretty much like rustic all brown harvesting tool. That looks really good, too. I like that. The Autumn Queen for a rare rarity. That's a steal two out of two. Color scheme is nice. Uh, it's perfect for this time of year. Does it match a decent amount? The back bling, yes. And the outfit, absolutely. Um, is the outfit creative? I, I actually think it is. I mean, from the chaps to the shorts to what she's wearing on her hips um, to the little crown made out of twigs or whatever it is. Very cool. Two out of two. Will I use it? It's possible. Nine out of ten for the Autumn Queen. Very well done, yoink. And with that being said, guys, liking the video is always appreciated. I did do a podcast with iTalk Fortnite. I'll have it at the end of this video. And uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So if I have to do it before you buy, it will be later than usual as I will be with family and friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's P-I-Z-Zero in Item Shop. And we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.